My goal is to die with my cancer, not from my cancer. Alan Jankowski is battling a rare form of cancer for which there is no cure. But he's working with the Princess Margaret Cancer Center to let people know that terminal cancer is not a death sentence. My initial diagnosis happened in 1991 when I was 21. Um, it was a disease called Hodgkin's disease and I was treated with radiation therapy at the time. Now, 25 years later, that radiation therapy Tran uh, translated into a second cancer called salivary duct carcinoma. The diagnosis came in 2016, and with little research on this type of cancer, Chenkowski says there aren't many treatment options available. The Princess Margaret needed to be creative and find a way in which to attack my cancer. And that way was a treatment that, was, that is a mainstay treatment for prostate cancer and that epitomizes creativity in the way Princess Margaret has used precision medicine in a creative context to help me. The creative use of science and its impact on research is highlighted in the Foundation's new awareness campaign. True innovation and true net new discoveries, they don't happen without creativity. The Art of Conquering Cancer campaign is really meant to sort of capture that idea that it takes both art and science to conquer cancer. When you think about medical research or cancer research, you tend to think about this very rigorous, sort of strict scientific process. And it is that, but it's that coupled with this more free form, creative thinking. And that's really where the magic happens. Chenkowski says he is living proof of that magic, which helped him beat the grim statistics for salivary duct carcinoma. The statistics for my cancer dictate that 80% of people would be dead within three years. Um, so under the weight of that information, it was paralyzing. Um, and. I did not believe I was going to live beyond the three-year mark. He says he promised himself that if he did live longer, he'd write a book detailing his experience and how to survive and thrive with cancer. That book is now published. They wanted to be that voice for rare cancer survivors. Rare cancer victims um, are people who have cancer that is not particularly well researched and they suffer the consequences of not having a lot of research. On the other side of Terminal is a book that serves to allow cancer patients and their families to realize that there is another side to Terminal and it's a side that's full of love and life and opportunity. To learn more about the Art of Conquering Cancer campaign and the innovative work being done at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center, you can go to our website citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.